And welcome back, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for another expedition. Yesterday we did our first expedition, and uh, with both trial runs, we got seven wins. It was awesome. We're going to be doing another one here today, and we'll be doing one tomorrow also, because it's just a good way to get new cards. Um, you know, we're building up our collection, of course, being uh, newer here to Legends of Runeterra. So we're building up our, our cards, and the Expeditions is the way to do that. It's like, you know, drafting in um, Magic Arena. Um, you can only, well, like, you only get rewards for three Expeditions each week. Um, and the new week starts, uh, like, you know, basically like Tuesday morning. And so today's Sunday, so we're going to do one today, Sunday, and then one tomorrow on Monday, and then we'll reset, and then we'll have three to do the week after that. Um... Let's see. So yeah, so we're going to go ahead and uh, embark and give this a try. So here we go. So um, we have 4,000 shards. It costs 3,000 shards. Uh, we got 3,500 for getting seven wins. So that's like our goal. The seven wins is the max. Try to get that. And then you get 3,500 shards. So you just pay for the next one. That's what we're hopefully going to be able to do again today. We get two chances at it. So here we go. Here's our first one. It's also just a really good way to look to learn the game because you know like while I I know some of the champions and everything I don't know I don't know very many of them honestly. Um, so yesterday we played a deck that had Darius and Trindamir together, and that deck was pretty good. I don't this is elixir of, like so Trindamir is good. The elixir of iron is not very good. Uh, three mana two four when I survive damage grant me plus three plus zero. It's not a bad card. And Darius has, like, Darius is a good card. Um, you know, 6-5 Trampler that turns into a 10-5 Trampler. Uh, if you have five, a 5-plus five power, kill all units. Uh, I don't love that card. I don't love that card either. There's this Teemo card. I've never played Teemo before. Um, oh, Elixir of Iron is actually really good, you think? Oh, because it grants it... Oh, no, it's only this round, but I guess it's a burst. Um, okay. So... Yeah, is Teemo good? I played against Teemo like twice, and I, I did beat the Teemo opponent both times. What it what is this? I think that's Piltover and Zahn, I think. So a two mana three one quick attack is a strong card. So Teemo says Teemo is elusive. So you know, hard to block. Um whenever Whenever Teemo is unblocked, whenever you hit your opponent, whenever you hit their nexus, you put five poison puff cats, puff caps on cards in their deck. And after you plant 15, then it levels up to be a 2-2, where each time it hits, it doubles the poison puff caps. The blue numbers are the mana cost. So this is like an 8-mana card, a 1-mana card, a 3-mana card. Yeah, so Teemo is a 1-mana champion, so that's... You know, pretty powerful. So what is this card? Four mana, four, three, Allegiance. Create a Sumpworks map in hand. It costs zero this round. Grant an ally elusive. Okay. And so Allegiance, it looks at the top card of the deck, and if it's this, if it's Piltover and Zahn also, it triggers. I kind of want to do this one because I've never played. So this would be Shroom and Boom. I guess. All right, so y'all think y'all think I should pick Teemo? Says Noxus is just too strong an expedition to pass. It's the better pick, but Teemo is fun also, but hit or miss though. Okay. Hey, what's up, Tumelo? Hey, Real Dooku. Yeah, loving Runeterra. It's been a lot of fun. So, so, so basically, you're saying this is just super powerful, and I should take it, or let's 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 just try it. Let's just try the Teemo deck. So I've never I've never played a Teemo deck. So something new. All right, so we have to pair Teemo with a different, you know, we can't just go all Piltover and Zahn. Kind of unfortunately, I wanted to, kind of wanted to just go crazy Piltover and Zahn. All right, so we can pair it with uh, Demacia with Fiora. Fiora is strong. Oh right, y'all get to vote. I didn't, I didn't check y'all's votes before. Fiora is strong, three mana. Uh, three three that has challenger. See, challenger means you get to choose how they block, like who blocks Fiora, which is very strong. And then whenever killed two enemies, 
flips to a 4-4, and whenever Fiora's killed four enemies, you just win the game. I've heard this Yasoa card is really good, though. Somebody says, 100% Fiora, she's an expedition bomb. You'll get offered a ton of barrier slash combat tricks with her. And that's probably good with Teemo also, then, too. Oh, Yasoa is not good? Okay. When you stun or recall an enemy, I deal two to it. Oh, yeah, that, that doesn't really sound that great. But it is a 4-3 quick attack. This Blightsteel Formation is a ridiculously strong card, but it's 9 mana. Okay, I'm good with, I'm good with taking Fiora. What's this Anivia? 7 mana, 2-4... Uh, attack, do one to all enemies. That's pretty strong. Last breath, revive me. Transformed into Egnivia. What's Egnivia? It's an O2, start of the round. If you're enlightened, transform me back to Anivia and level up. Well, that's good. And then 3 5, attack, do two to all enemies. Last breath. This card seems pretty sweet. That card seems pretty sweet, too. Hmm. The votes are pretty split. Do your champions need to curve well? Yeah, that's it's yeah, it's definitely good if your champions curve well. Um definitely. Yeah, you know, like it you you know, challenger the champions are usually the more expensive cards. Or sorry, they're more the more powerful cards. This also gives you a two one strike draw spell and that thing. I'm kind of liking this Fiora. I feel like these may play well together. But that's the other thing. Yeah, you want to you want them to play well together. This is pretty. So we're gonna be like. It's a pretty interesting one too, though. Let's try this. Yeah, Maxwell. Yeah, I think so. All right, let's play. Let's play Fiora because Fiora is a, a good aggressive card. So is Teemo. Let's try these two together. Bright Steel Protector and Detain. Ugh, I, don't, I don't like those. I mean, the the Protector is good. I don't like Detain. This is the Snub Snap Snub Sup. Hmm. Sump Snipe Scavenger. Sump Snipe. It's not easy to say. Three mana, two, three elusive. That's pretty strong. All right. I like, I think I like this middle one. Usari has challenger and elusive. Usari's strong. And sparring student's pretty strong too. But this is just a different, this is a different guild though, or like a different region. All right. Yeah. Y'all are voting for this one. We do have lots of threes and fours already, but. The Sump Snipe Scavengers definitely want you to play more of that guild also. Yawn Wind Chaser. Those two cards are both very good. I feel like maybe the Fiora pick is going to help too much. All right, so two mana, one, three, support. Give the other thing elusive. Nexus Strike, summon exact copy of me. That's a good card. Um, that one's fine. So the best cards are this. Like, the, this one has the best cards. Like, plate stun two enemies is super strong. And then the Shadow Assassin, a 3-mana 2-2 two, two flyer, whenever you play it, you draw a card. Like, that's also very strong. This one's not bad either, but... I missed, I mean, this is, like, one of the better removal spells, I guess, so... Maybe we should just take it because it has one of the better removal spells. And it's a 1-drop and a 2-drop. We have some tough decisions here with this one. Hmm. 
Hmm. The votes are basically basically tied, and we're also you know just started the streams. So don't have as many people in here voting. I think the mage. I think I should take this mage seeker conservator. And the votes are just exactly tied. All right, I guess I got a tie break. The votes are exactly tied. Um, I don't love that this is a different um, region. You don't, yeah, somebody says you don't want three regions. Three regions is bad. All right, we'll try the. We'll take the two, cause. Okay, fine. We'll we'll stick with the two regions. Create a mushroom cloud in hand. That's a, that's a good one. Mystic shot's good. So Sithria, that's good too. Um. I think I like the one on the right the least. I think it's one of these two. Clump of Wumps works really well with Teemo. And then just a three mana, two, three elusive is perfectly fine. Sithria is a very powerful six drop. And Mystic Shot's a good removal spell. I think I'm going to go with the Clump of Wumps to, to try to uh, team up with Teemo. Deal three to an enemy, two to another, one to another. That's pretty strong. Attack, do two damage to the enemy nexus. Meh. When you cast a spell, plant three poison puff, poison puff caps on random cards in the enemy's deck. That card is good. And then summon an illegal contraption. So just a 5-5. Five five. But it's a spell, so it triggers the peddler. And then on guard and vanguard first blade. Not the worst. I think I want to go with the Peddler. What are y'all saying? Yeah, y'all are all saying the Peddler. All right, we got another Clump of Wumps and another Peddler to go with the Poison stuff. We got a Reinforcements and a Flash of Brilliance. I don't love that. Yeah, I don't love that one. On Guard and Bright Steel Protector. All right, I think we're just going to go with the first one. And yep, everybody's votes. Oh yeah, everybody likes the first one. Clump of Wumps. All right, so Mage Seeker Conservator, pretty decent card, and then Illegal Contraption, meh. Purify, and Scrap Dash Assembly, summon two Scrap Scuttlers. That's not very good. Purify is kind of cool, though. Back to back and Succession. Just make a 3 3. Um. I think I like this last one. Back to back's pretty strong. Give two allies plus three plus three this round. That's pretty strong. I think I like the last one. Yeah, back to back's the best card. Cool. Eager Apprentice. Refill two spell, spell mana. That's actually pretty good. And then Mystic Shot. All right, that's that's pretty good. What do we got here? We got a Vanguard Sergeant, create a four Dementia, and a Flash of Brilliance. Meh. Scythria, good card, and Radiant Strike, kind of meh. I'm liking this first one. Is Teemo with back to back really strong? I think in the first one. Oh, people are voting for the last one. Just want the one drop? And then the other, the extra trick? Radiant Strike to protect Teemo. I could see that. And then just getting another one drop. 
I want to do this this other one though, because we do have a lot of spells. So I feel like refilling, like getting the this thing that gives you some extra spell mana and just getting some removal. I'm gonna do this one. All right, if you have exactly one ally, grant it plus three plus three. I don't love that card. Um, this card's pretty good though. Give an ally challenger this round. That's pretty good. Flash of brilliance, and it's a session. Fine. Peddler and back alley barkeep. When I'm summoned, create a random card in hand for each back alley barkeep you've summoned this game. So I guess the first one would be you get one card, then the second one you get two cards, and so on. I think we get this one. Get this pu puff cap peddler. Get another one of these. Yeah, everybody's on for that. All right, we got Mushroom Cloud. Very, you know, pretty weak over, overall card. You know, when there's the two drop, it just gives you a free one of those. <laughs> but it's efficient and effective and just an, an elusive card. We got Detain and an Unlicensed inno Innovation. Up that curve, we got a Secession and a Vanguard Cavalry. Hmm. Yeah, this is just not really worth a, an actual card. It's like something that you get for free, basically, that you want. It's not really worth a card. And we have just millions of three drops. So I kind of don't really want to take the first one, even though it, it fits the theme a little bit. I just, I'm not in love with just generic six mana, five, five, or detain. I'm really not in love with any of these cards, to be honest. This is three mana, three, three, which three mana, two, three, elusive is probably more powerful. So Secession's weaker than air, the area thing, but five mana, five, five, tough is pretty pretty good, though. Like that's This is just a lot better card than Mushroom Cloud. And even if we take a little bit of a downgrade from Secession to Amateur Area Knot, the Cavalry is going to be a lot more powerful and useful of a card than this Mushroom Cloud. Um, I'm going to take that. All right, we got another Mystic Shot and a Flash of Brilliance. Not bad. A Prismatic Barrier and another Vanguard. Not too bad. A Senna and a Swiftling Lancer. All right, I think I like this last one. Senna's pretty sweet, being a 4-2 quick attack. And then this thing being a 5-4 challenger, and whenever it dies, we create a lead in hand. I like this last one. All right, another clump of lumps and puff cap peddler. We're not doing the middle one. Or double border lookout. That's not even very good. Well, here we go. Clump of lumps, puff cap peddler. That's just an easy one. <laughs> That's just... It's not even close. All right, back to back, still strong. Bright Steel Protector is also a strong card, so that's that's pretty strong there. Mage Seeker Persuader and Laurent Protege, that's pretty strong. And then Flash of Brilliance and another Puff Cap Peddler. This one has good, got good synergy. You know, we get just yet another Peddler, and then a Flash of Brilliance, which if we're just Honestly, this is like Flash of Brilliance with all these peddlers really does work well together because it's a spell that that's basically free and gives you another spell. So that that works really well with the peddler, honestly. But yeah, you think we have the limit of puff. I mean, well, we you can have more, you know, like we could have a fifth, but um you know, yeah, it's it's we are kind of reaching the you know, diminishing return part probably. So, all right, let's go. Let's go with this one. Let's get. Let's get the back to back then. All right, we can trade some picks. So we can trade the secession for a prismatic barrier. That's probably a good trade, honestly. We can trade this one drop that makes a big spell for us for another three drop. I do not want to make that trade. I'd rather have the one drop with all these three drops. We're gonna trade the five mana five five tough for a mystic shot. 
That's not a bad trade, getting another Mystic Shot. Uh, but we probably want the five drop. I think the I think the one that I probably want to do is this. Grant a barrier, grant an ally barrier this round. I think I want to do that trade. Yeah. Yep, that's the same trade everybody else said. All right, so we're trying something new. You know, we're trying Teemo. Um, let's try something new. So here we go. Trying some puff caps. We'll see how it does. Wasn't the best drawing. Kind of gave us a chance to find it, Teemo. So this is a 1-2, Last Breath, Shuffle 2, and Rage Yetis into your deck. That's a good card. So what are their champions? Braum and... Oh, Karma? Dude, Karma is so hard to beat. This is basically just going to be happening. I forgot we got this Bright Steel formation. That card's good. Could put the Challenger out and just take their 1 2. But I, I kind of want them to play a more valuable creature first. They just did nothing that round? Oh, that thing's only a 2-drop. It's not a 3-drop. Oh, well, I should have played the area or not. I thought for some reason that was a 3-drop. When I'm summoned, grant allies in hand plus 1 plus 1. That's pretty strong. Hey Argonaut, the new house is great. I'm very happy to be back in Texas. Oh, nice blade. Yeah, good luck. Hope you're doing hope your expedition goes well. So yeah, everything's good. Thanks, Argonaut. So forget it. I feel like I was going to do something. Ooh, bouncing that back to hand. That's got to be pretty strong. So do I want to play a five mana card first or just go to attacks? I think I just want to go to attacks. No, I'm going to play the five drop. Oh, Harvey's barking at something. Let me go see what's what's up.
right, sorry. What they play? They played the uh, the Braum as a one six. That's pretty good. You are safe with Braum. <clears throat> no, um. Yeah, no, this this game has ranked as well. Yeah, no, playing playing uh this game ranked, not arena. Yeah, I know, we're just leveling up Braum. I don't First we fight and you lift my shield. Don't really have anything but creatures right now. Isn't great. So you just play elusive stuff. Deal two to all enemy units. Oh, to all units? They just get a mighty Poro? Gross. Um, yeah. I'm not sure exactly when I'm gonna be doing my next arena stream, honestly. But no, no, I'm not I'm not just doing this while World Worlds is on. Here's I had I wrote about it here the other day. Um I just wanted to try a new game. And I've and yeah, I've been really liking this game and everything. Um, Ionia speaks through me. You know, just kind of giving something else a try. Well, I'm not saying that I'm I'm done with Arena, but I, I just don't know when my next Arena stream will be. Ouch. Karma's really difficult to beat also. Like my only chance is, is winning this in the air, honestly. This is the first game still? Yeah. What would you wish to learn? Can't fly if you don't try. Too many creatures, not enough spells. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the battle of the sky. Nothing escapes my watch. All right, so we've put ten poison puff caps, so we've almost leveled up Teemo. Nice, they drew a card that had two puff caps on it, so that means they lost two life. That's what those do. They basically put like a one damage thing on different cards in their deck. If they draw them, they take damage. Yeah, we are still at 20, so yeah, it's gonna be difficult for them to kill us. And next turn we can have this bright steel formation. Many tries, one Freljord. I only have room for one more thing, also, so we're just gonna we're gonna play the five, five play this that makes a five five. That's true. Yeah, they could deny it. That's true. What? Where? 
Who has Deny? Is that Freljord? Are they the ones that have Deny? This is fun, yes? Ionia. Okay. Ionia has deny. Thanks, Argonaut. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, I, and I, I don't think I'm done with that. But I hope I hope you check out this new game too, Argonaut. Um, this Legends of Runeterra Runeter game has been really, really fun the last few days. I hope you check this game out. It's, it's free to play, and... I haven't spent any money on it. Uh, you can build good decks and everything without spending any money. It's, it's very fun. Okay, so my actions, this is going to get... Oh, I don't have the thing that gives... Okay, never mind. I don't have exactly what I was hoping I did. Oh wait, yeah, I do. It's not broken. Just needs a little love. Because it's just granted elusive for good, right? It doesn't say until end of turn, so I assume that's just for good. It's like it just has elusive now. So they get another spell with Karma. Hoping... Hoping these elusives can get it done, though. Am I supposed to play my 9-drop first? And then let them play something? Yeah, they could drop an elusive card in response. Now I do get to attack with everything though, and they're all they all have a barrier. Including this 9-9 now. It makes it does make their blocks pretty difficult. But they could just be sitting on a bunch of more creatures, like they don't even mind chump blocking out and stuff. So the removal isn't damage based, so, so that's why I shouldn't do that. Okay. Patience and virtue make a true sword. Uh Yeah, that's that's a punished for sure. Forward. We don't need topsiders. Yeah, that was a punished for sure. Now I can't attack with these two. Yeah, got punished. I don't really mind feeding them Poros because then they, they don't get to play other better creatures because their battlefield's just filled up with Poros. I don't really mind that too much. The answer lies within. I am worried about whatever spells that they keep on getting from Karma. That's what I am worried about. Good 
Sometimes icy heart just needs warm spot. All right, so we're going to block there and there. And get these two things, you know, just trade away these two creatures. And then play this then you know if i could get, get these two things off the battlefield then i can play the peddler and then play another spell and just try to get put three more pu puff caps in their deck and maybe get some more help with extra puff caps it's perfectly fine oh i am dead i'm taking oh my gosh yeah i didn't even think i was taking oh man yeah Yeah, I miscounted that. I was taking too much damage. I went down to exactly zero. Um, that card's not very good. I don't love any of these trades. No, I don't like that trade. Like maybe the middle one. I mean, I do like Prismatic Barrier, but again, all of our cards cost three, but it is a spell. I think I'm gonna just skip. So, the thing is, is like, yeah, Lancer's probably a better card, honestly, than than Innovation. It's just Innovation's a spell, and like, so the spell goes with the Puff Cap Peddlers. But yeah, the Lancer is a better card. So, all right, we'll take the better card. It's a better card, and it costs less. And oh well, it's not a not a spell, but we'll take the better card that costs less. All right, sorry, born again. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of this. Yeah, I'll just get rid of that. No, Born, Born Again's been a, a long time subscriber. And so I'm. Oh, play my card. Petricide, protect me. Time to get my hands dirty. And I am sorry. This could be a lot of poison puff caps that we can get here with the clump of lumps on turn two. Um, and then, you know, like Peddler on three. On four, we can play Peddler plus the Mushroom Cloud. I mean, 
mean, I don't, I don't care if they do the challenger thing on that. The snow hair. I should have attacked first. I should have just attacked with this 1-1. One, one. Or the 1-1 one, one and the 2-2. Two, two. I should have just attacked with both first. Yeah, I, I should have just attacked with both first. That was not good playing that first. How much mana does that card cost? I don't think I've seen that one. So two mana, given... Barrier to an ally in hand, draw a card. Because they're just not going to block these. They're going to, I guess they're going to challenge her and kill my, my 3-3. Three, three. Uh, how do I like champions compared to planeswalkers? I like that... Like, the champions aren't... Like, there are some champions that are pretty good, but they're not, like, um, game warping, where Planeswalkers are definitely game warping. Like, if somebody plays a Planeswalker, you have to, um, you know, change your whole game to try to kill that Planeswalker and everything. You know, like, my opponent just played, like, this champion, and it's, it's you know, it's fine. Have a mushroom! Um, you know, it gives, gives, you know, like, it's a strong card, but it's not like it's going to just win the game if I don't deal with it immediately. All right, so we're going to go give them five mushrooms for that card, three more for one peddler, three more for another peddler. So just gave them 11... 11 mushrooms. My pretty. Bears only last one turn, right? Yeah. Cool. They drew a card that had mushroom on it. Took a damage. In formation! Whenever it attacks, it does one damage to all battling units. Dang, that card's good, and it's a 5-8 for 5 mana? Oh, that card's good. Hmm. This is going to be tough. So I got six mana. I don't think we're going to do very good on this run. They're out there. I'll spot them. Oh, they just pass and so I just waste all my mana. They don't go to attacks or anything. That was actually pretty good. 
by them. Just wasted all that mana. What was that card? Get an empty mana gem and heal your nexus. Three. Get an empty mana gem. What does that even mean? Oh, so like next turn they'll have more mana than me. Okay. Undo. Undo. Hey, Panda. No, I won't be playing any magic today. Come. Take refuge. There they go. All right, still, whoops, still leveling up, Teemo. Hey, Anamusha, what's up? Yeah, taking us taking a little break from from Magic and trying this new game, Legends of Runeterra. I've been playing it for a few days now and really, really enjoying it. Yeah, trying trying something new. Name. All right, so they're just attacking all out. They have two challengers. They can make, they can force the blocks with two of their creatures, and tell me where to block. Where do I want to make the rest of the blocks? I'm not going to block the five eight. Block here, block there, block there. Oh, right, all battling units take one. Do all battling units, so their units also? Right? Yeah, it's gotta be like their, their stuff too. So that gets rid of that that shield. So that went pretty well for me. I have I can only play two more creatures. Yeah, that was not a good that was not good for my opponent. Like at all. I will unite the frail yard. All right, here's a legend or what a champion, a champion. Um, so attack, frostbite the strongest enemy.
Yeah, that was not a good trade for them. What is this going to do? If you have a Yeti, summon an Enraged Yeti. Do you have a Yeti? No. All right, well, I think I just want to attack out. Oh, right, I could have pulled... Ah, I had these things with Challenger. I should have at least pulled one of them. Sorry, I was thinking about, like, my spells, of what, what I want to do with my spells. There's so much stuff in this game. I think it's pretty... It's pretty good. Oh yeah, I have, I have, yeah, I got, I got back to back, or, I have the prismatic barrier. We got stuff. Frostbite an enemy. Okay. I guess I could have just gone for lethal with my back to back instead of killing both their creatures. Oh well. They're at three. I got Mystic Shot that can do two. Yeah, I guess I should I guess I could have just gone for lethal. I'm just gonna go ahead and cast this right now and do two to them, put them down to one, give them three more puff caps and so they have a whole lot of puff caps they have 21 puff caps with 15 cards and if they draw a card with a puff cap they die that's pretty likely so we can make it even more likely so now they have 24 puff caps and 15 cards Puff cap lethal? Yeah! Two puff caps. Puff cap lethal. Without even playing Teemo. Alright. We're not dead yet. The run's not over yet. You have to lose two in a row to get eliminated. Ooh, we leveled up our Demacia experience oh we get to add another shroom and boom teemo or another fioria i think we take another teemo right teemo seems like the kind of card that works better that works really good in multiples Yeah, let's take another Teemo. All right, rewards. Okay. We got an epic card. We got a bright steel formation. That card's good. I think I already had one of those. So what is it? So you can only have three of each card with this, right? GG's. Let me open this up. Yeah, for construct. Yeah, you can only have three, so can't open. Ooh, we got a Teemo. Let's replace this, replace this. Actually, I kind of like that card. Yeah, let's let's keep that. That actually works pretty well 
with the peddler also. Go, Timo, go. Nothing like the great outdoors. Who's, who's my opponent have? Oh, they have Timo and Zed. Swiftly. That's a good combo. You think Teemo's really weak in Expedition? Yeah, possibly. Giving it a try. We have, who do we have? We have Teemo and Fiora. Fiora. Turn three. Armed and ready. More mushrooms. Silence as death. Have a mushroom. Have three. I've heard about you. <laughs> have a mushroom, have three. All right, so every spell we cast, they'll get three more mushrooms. I got ways to find me mushrooms. <clears throat> they get two mushroom clouds with that thing. That thing's pretty good. You won't believe what pilties throw away. So I'm gonna grant. I'm gonna grant that four three elusive. Hey, what's up, Rex? So we got two elusive creatures right now. I will play my part. Huh. What kind of spell are they gonna be playing that makes my four three blocking their two two bad for me? I guess whatever spell it is, if I attack, I mean, if I attack, I have I have the back to back. They get to use though, and the barrier. All right, so I'm gonna just skip this block. They take one. I don't really love any of my options, honestly. I've got your back. Download this yesterday. I'm enjoying it. Awesome. Cool. Give me some grief. Yeah, glad glad you downloaded it and you're enjoying it and everything. Cool. Yeah. I've, yeah, I really recommend this game. Like I'm insane. It's... Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Oh, whoops. Am I right? You know, free to play everything. Ahead. This just isn't a very good idea. Where do you get it? Yeah, just basically just just Google search Legends of Runeterra. Yeah, it's free to play. I haven't. I still, you know, I haven't spent any money on it either. And you know, we've been doing good and ranked and been doing some drafts and stuff. Um. But yeah, free to play, free to start building stuff. Yeah, I recommend it. How can I 
How many? I have eight puff caps. Can't fly if you don't try. Can't fly if you don't try. Nice. I think I had two puff caps on it. They take two. Hey, what's up, high tech? I got double peddler. So I have seven mana. I want to keep the back to back up. So that means I can spend three. Let's get another elusive out here. That's going to be a whole lot of puff caps. It's 11. So I have 19 now. They have 9. Oh, wait. How many? Do they just play two of those things, I guess? I have 30 now. What is going on? They're just playing more? Are they playing more of those things or what? I don't even know what's going on. Yeah, puff caps, they're basically they they're like things they put on the cards in your deck. And so if you draw that card, if it has puff caps on it, you take that much damage. So this is a 6-1 quick attack now. So even if I go back to back, that's not gonna save that. So let's give this a barrier. Ooh, quite a collection! So if you draw a card with puff caps, and they're just they're just randomly put on the different cards. So like my 23 cards have, to have a total of 47 puff caps. Their 22 have a total of 12. Um, Charged up and ready to go. All right, so we're both drawing. Hopefully I don't take very much. Wow, neither of us took any damage. All these things have elusive. They can't block any of them. And lethal. All right, we're two and one. Get that XP. So there's what? So there's 13 vault levels. So we're trying to level up two more times before, um, before Tuesday, to get the highest possible vault. Um, which I think is like so. Right now it's like two platinum chests and one diamond chest. And you know, if we get the next level, then it's two di diamond and one platinum. And then if we get the last one, then it's just three diamond. I think that's that's. Hopefully, I said that correctly. Yep, so this is a draft, yeah. And their draft's pretty cool because then, you know, you get to, um, you know, like, as you as you play, you get to kind of upgrade your deck and everything, too. All right, so we can trade out a Fiora for an Ezreal. Nexus Strike, create a fleeting Mystic Shot in hand. This seems like a good upgrade, right? 
Hey, what's up, Poppy? Yeah, this is Legends of Runeterra. This is a, a basically a new game. It's only been out for like three weeks. Um, free to play and also really sweet. Really recommend it. So yeah, Ezreal over Fiora because Ezreal... Ezreal gives us spells, which is good good to have. It's good with the puff caps for sure. When you cast a spell, deal two to them also. Yeah, this yeah, Ezreal does sound pretty sweet. Um, let's check out the other ones. Nah, those are yeah, let's just take Ezreal. Ezreal. Yeah, let's go, Ezreal. Pairs very well with Teemo. That's what we want. We want things to pair with well with Teemo because we got two Teemos. We're a Teemo deck. We don't have target spells though. Um, I guess that's kind of. I mean, every time that I mean, we have like a couple Mystic shots, and then every time Ezreal hits, it gives us a Mystic shot to use. So that's kind of the plan: is just get a bunch of Mystic shots. Uh, I think I just want to send all these back. The two, yeah. Let's just send them all back. Try to get, try to get find Timo. Hmm. That was not good. We got a Senna. Yeah, yeah. Y'all should just y'all should download Legends of Ruterra too. Play it alongside me. You know, I just started. Playing it a couple days ago. Alright, let's build up that spell mana. So, you know, like, we basically how the turns go is like both players have two mana. You, like, both players get to play creatures. I don't have any two mana creatures. Um, if you don't use mana, you can save it for mana that can only be used for spells. It looks like my mulligan was too aggressive and everything to Sentinels of Light don't fear the dark. Too greedy. Yeah, there's there's instance. There's basically there's like sorcery speed spells, there's instance, and then there's like interrupts. If you play if you played magic for a long time, like there's basically like they're they're called burst spells that you don't get to react to at all. Because they're too fast. But, like, during a turn, both players play creatures during the same turn. It's just one person attacks, the other person doesn't. And you basically get to go to attacks anytime you want. So you can start by attacking immediately, then they don't get to play creatures because you're in combat. You can first play creatures, and, th and then the other person can respond by playing a creature and then go to combat. There's a lot of play to this game, a ton of decisions. Very well put together. So I have four like creature mana plus an additional three spell mana. My only spell is this thing in here. All right, I got that thing is a three one. Hmm. I want to play this thing to block it. Confine and contain. Yeah, so burst is like split second, yeah. Like split second, yeah. You'll go no farther. little fella asking for me so 16 to 12 of course these are our life totals over here Senna's quick attack which is like first strike for for only when you're attacking and it doesn't happen when you're blocking also
Kill an ally to summon a random follower from any region that costs two more. Ugh, they get that 5-8. That 5-8 card's pretty good. I don't have very good cards. To be honest. So I guess they got something to do because it's in there waiting on them. So they have their three spell mana also. I have my three spell mana. So I can get two extra spell mana by playing this, but I mean, you can't have, you only have a max of three. So I need to like play a spell to use that and then I can play this and get a couple of free mana. Pick a follower, create an ethereal one of that follower in hand. Oh gosh. They're gonna make something really big. A 6-5 elusive. Jeez. Probably need to start blocking that thing. So, I guess we're going to just take this. Oh, gosh, I forgot those things come back, too. Yuck. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Not so fast. I've always been a fun guy. <clears throat> All right, well, let's try this block. We're taking six. Yeah, interrupt. Yeah, interrupt was faster than an instant uh, from the beginning days of magic. They kind of you ratted everything just to be instant. One mana five five reduced my cost by one for each ally that died this game. Ugh, they already had nine things die. All right, well. Um. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. I kind of need that card. I need both of those because I need those to trade with these. Okay, Mystic Shot. Interesting. I have four extra mana, so I can do that. Hey, what's up, Rankler? Happy Sunday. Yeah, split second was a keyword a lot, a lot longer afterwards. A lot later. All right, so the challenger thing means you get to choose who blocks it. So we want to set up that attacking and blocking. And then I can attack with this other elusive. So basically I can... Yeah, I can pull the 5-5 five five in front of this thing so that they have to basically chump block 
before two. And then I'm basically trading the two one for one of those two threes if they do jump block. Yeah. I'm not sure why I got another one in my hand, but that's sweet. Oh, because whenever the other thing dies, I get a, a random four cost thing in my hand. Or a random elite in my hand. So they're at seven, I'm at six. This is a close game. Both got a lot of cards, a lot of mana. Uh, you've attacked. So attack, summon two attacking spectral raiders. So does this mean whenever this thing attacks, they get the spectral raiders and they get the three ones back? Because I can't really handle that. It does, that's what it means. I cannot handle that. I think I'm gonna die. It's a 5-7 Trampler now. Yuck. I'm down to I'm on it. Oh, that's a good one. Down to one. I'll be surprised if we somehow win this. How many puff caps do they got? They have three. Oh, that's not very many. Okay. Well, maybe they don't have an instant. have an instant. Come on, 10 damage. No. Okay. Kill an ally, draw two. There, draw two. Come on, 10 damage. Ooh, they took... They took one from a puff cap. Damage is good. Wow. Going down to one. One is not zero. That was an awesome game there. So many awesome games with this, with this uh, game.
Wow, that was awesome. Okay, so we get another, oh, we can get another Teemo and go triple Teemo. And then we get a Thermogenic Beam and a Chump Wump. Or we get an Ez another Ezreal Kempuk Kempunk Pickpocket and Kempunk Shredder or a Fiora, a Senna, and a Riposte. Well, the, the last one's probably the best cards, Fiora, Senna, Riposte, but I kind of want to just keep getting more Teemos. Two Mela says grab the Azoreal. Hey, Trunks. Yeah, no, the question does come very often. Um, I'm sure I'll play Magic again, but I'm, I'm just wanting to try out another game for a little while. Uh, I wrote about it here. All right, everybody voted in the votes. Everybody voted for Teemo. Just keep getting more of these. And I'm fine with that. Let's get more of them. All right, we're at three wins on our draft. Let's keep it going. Is there a combo in the Teemo deck? It's basically, no, it's, it's not really combo, it's more synergy. We have, so Teemo gives the opponent puff caps. It's like a one mana, one, one flying. And basically, you know, it's elusive, so it's kind of like flying. Um, I mean, it's, yeah, it's basically just like flying in magic. So it's like a one mana, one, one flyer. And whenever it hits though, they get five puff caps just on random cards in their library. And then I just have other cards that can also give them more puff caps. And whenever they get 15 uh, puff caps, then they, um, it's actually just a good hand. We'll replace this thing. I'll keep those. Whenever they get 15 puff caps, then Teemo transform, transforms into a 2-2. Two -two. And whenever whenever it's the 2-2 two -two and hits them, it just doubles however many they have. So if they have like 20, it doubles it to 40, <laughs> for example. So you can get some crazy number of poison puff caps in their deck. Hey, what's up, Jeremy? Yeah, Legends of Ruterra has been pretty sweet. All right, so they got five puff caps. So. Oh, no. Let's do two damage to anything. Let's kill that thing. Because this thing has Challenger, so they'll force my Teemo to block. They can attack with their 3-2 and force it to block. Let's just attack before they can get... Or they can play a new blocker. Hmm. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. And now every spell we play, so not creatures but spells, we put three more puff caps in their deck. Ooh, there goes one. One damage. But now they only have nine. All right, I'll just jump list this by four. With this free one one we got, we'll just do a little jump. They're Steel Leaf Champion. They're three mana, five four. No one knows these streets like me. 
Sebastian border from here. Let's give this thing elusive also. I'll trade I'll trade the four I know it's one less power, but it's something I don't really want to trade away. Oh, right. Pass. Sun is shining and so are you. What did you find I'm doing this pre-combat so that I can play this and give them enough puff caps to be able to is the true have Teemo start a round frostbite. Grow free. Have Teemo transform. <laughs> Because right now they have 20, so if we hit them, they'll get 40. Double it up. Yeah, see, I've been just try trying a new game. Let's see. So they got 40 puff caps now. The frost reveals all to me. How many they got? Ooh, that card's three damage. <laughs> oh, the hand. Have a mushroom. Have three. I've heard about you. Nah, kill that thing. Oh, I can't I can't have any more creatures. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah, I could have attacked with the four three, I guess. So I just I just basically wasted that spell on hand, but oh well. Uh, so they have 26 cards and 49 puff caps. All right, so we're going to chump. Chump with that. I mean, I guess this is what last breath draw card. I'm just going to take 10. How much are they going to take? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Take 5. <laughs> They surrender. We were about to double up though. They were gonna have like 80 puff caps. Or 90 puff caps. Oh man. That was pretty sweet. That was my first time really doing that. Okay, our expedition's coming along. We're four and one. We gotta get that seven wins. It's all about getting the seven wins. Because then if we get seven wins, we get to pay for a new one. We get to not only get a champion, but then also get a new one. All right, so we can, give a, so we can trade this two drop for this six drop. This six drop is super powerful. I think, I'm thinking we want to do this trade. What's our other trades? Um, eh, that one's just kind of fine. This last one's a not a bad trade either. Repost is pretty good, but I think that we do want this card. Because this is discard your hand, draw three, and deal three to an enemy unit. So, you know, it's like Flame flame Tongue Kavu plus discard your hand, draw three. So, like, if you play it as, like, one of your last cards, you just draw three. I really like that card. I think we're going to switch those. Yeah. And plus it can be removal. Four 
wins. Here we go. So they got they have three different of these. All right, so we got our Teemo. Let's replace this thing and replace this, and we'll keep the Mystic Shot. We get to attack first. Get him, Teemo. <laughs> Teemo's pretty crazy. Yeah, you get to vote for the pick, so yeah, that's really cool. We march as one, an unstoppable force. Um so I could shoot that. I'll just wait. To victory. I think I just wait. Cost me three damage to wait to give them three puff caps, basically. Because I still save that mana for a spell. So, like, this next turn I can play the Peddler and then shoot it. Armed and ready. And I get the extra three puff caps, but then it costs me three life. Get a long king shot the main. Oh, right. Um, pass. All right, there's three puff caps right there. Took three damage. So this is a second Teemo, because because these things are champions, you can only have one of them out. So instead of just having the dead card in hand, you think you have like a second Planeswalker, you can't play it. They give you a spell that you get to play, and then if you play it, you shuffle the Teemo into your deck. Do do do. All right, this done the three three. If I get a four four. <clears throat> yeah, this game is really sweet. It really is. Yeah, it's yep. It's free to play. You just download it. You just just Google search Legends of Runeterra. It's free. To, I haven't spent any money on the game either. Like it's free to play. You get to. You really do get a lot of a lot of rewards. Um, it's very easy to, to have to put together decks without spending money. But yeah, we're doing the, like the drafting thing right now. All right, so they're trying to have these two creatures fight, but then we'll respond by bolting their three two. It's a really good thing that we didn't use that bolt earlier. So they're at 10 puff caps now because they've gotten a lot of puff caps. So I think I want to... Do I want to play these things first and let them play a five drop or just go to attackers? Let me just go to attackers, where we're attacking, and I'm going to just give them a whole lot of upcaps. Each one of these puts eight over there. Five for the card, three for this peddler. Oh no, no! I didn't have any code. That must that must have been something from before. Defend the empire. 
I think I think that's probably done because I think that was probably during the closed beta that you needed a code. Now it's the open beta. So they have 34. We're gonna double that. So they're 68 puff caps out of their 27 cards. Yeah, so, yeah, no code needed anymore. Happy to do whatever's needed. <laughs> so, 68 puff caps with the 27 cards. So how much damage are you taking? How much? One, two, three. Ah, uh, only three. All right. Take three damage. You pay, I fight. Start of... Round stun the weakest enemy. I got what, six mana? Take your poison. A mushroom tea up on the rocks. I accept. Remember why we fight. I should have played the Ez Ezreal. Like, do they choose which one is the weak? Like, do they choose? With ties broken by lowest health than lowest cost. Oh, well. <clears throat> the one drops the lowest cost. Uh, so I can't even respond to that. So I wanted to, was wondering if I could respond to that with like a with that. All right, so they drew a card, took three. Can't fly if you don't try. Oh, I thought I thought it said it goes power then. Oh, then lowest health. Oh, I just saw the lowest cost. So it was the tie was first broken by lowest health, then lowest cost. Oh, I just. I just missed that middle part. I just saw the like lowest power tie broke lowest cost. That's what I saw. Time for a true display of skill. I never use my goggles either. One shot, all skill. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. All right, so we can, we're just going to Mystic Shot them, put them down to four, also give them three more Puff Caps. So they're at four, and they have 65 Puff Caps with their 25 cards. They basically average close to three, but not quite three Puff Caps per card, but hopefully their, their next card has four. How many you got? One, two, three, four. Boom. Puff Cap Death. Timo. Boom. All right, up to five wins. All right, what do we want to trade? So, Eager Apprentice, we could trade that for Amateur Area Knot. I don't really want to do that trade. I already got three of the Amateur Area Knots and a lot of cards that cost three, so I don't want to do that one. We could trade this cool six drop we just got for the zero mana spell. They can do a lot of damage. That's actually, that's maybe a good trade, honestly. Get another spell. I don't know, that six drop's cool. Or we could trade the back alley barkeep, which I've been happy with the card, but for a chump wump. Yeah, we should probably do this last one and just grab the chump wump. Get two mushroom clouds in hand instead of a random card and get a 4 4 instead of a 3 2. Yeah, let's get the chump wump. 
Chumpa Wumpa. All right, five wins. <laughs> Good job of making Teemo as dreadful to play against as in the original game. Oh, was, was Teemo like super powerful originally? Still pretty powerful. Um, this is actually just a good hand with good stuff, but there's no Teemo. So I kind of want to replace stuff because there's no Teemo. Well, it's definitely kept Ezreal. Keep, I'm going to keep Ezreal. I'm going to keep the Mystic Shot. I'm going to replace these things and look for Teemo. Mm, I should probably keep that thing. I'll just replace the Peddler. What's up, QQ? No Teemo. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. That card's good. <laughs> Have you gotten into this game yet, QQ? I shouldn't have played that actually, because then, because now next turn I could have done this with then cast the fleeting mystic shot. Yeah, I should not have played that. Yeah, that was a mistake. Making the dead deader. Yeah, I was saying, did you have you gotten into this game yet? Do not fear the shrouded path. Missed your chance to run. That's a good start for them. Okay, you have? Yeah, it's different, but fun. Yeah. Hiding in my heart tonight. See now I can't now I can't double spell. I really shouldn't have played that one drop earlier. Just quick attack. Oh. Right. Well, I need to bolt that. I forgot about the level up. Kind of forgot about the level up. Don't blink or you miss me. Couldn't run it on Linux. I gotta switch to Windows when you want to play. Lightly. Yeah, I, I don't think they'll come out with a paper version just because there's so much of the stuff that like the cards change and everything and you know you, you can't really do like the you know like the puffs and paper like it's definitely a digital game what are you waiting I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? Firing!
This Zed's still just gonna kill me. I, I really need to kill that Zed the last turn. I forgot about Zed transforming into a 4-3. So now these all have life steal. Jeez. Go down to one. Uh. All right, we lost. Forgot about that transforming. Lesson learned. But we're still in it. We're not done because you have to lose two in a row. So we're not done yet. So we could trade a barrier for another mystic shot or trade a secession for a flash of brilliance. Or trade a conservator for another chump wump. I think I actually want to do this last one. I think I wanted this secession's like just a pretty weak spell, just getting a 3 3. I think I want to just put a random spell in hand, refill spell mana. I think I want to do that last one. Yeah, or this middle one. I'm going to do that. I don't really want to get rid of the, the one drop, even though we get another chump wump. Okay. If we lose the next game, the trial will end. So we gotta win. Now we're, more, we're like basically Teemo aggro more than Teemo control. Yeah, we're definitely a pretty aggressive deck here. All right, that thing looks really scary. So I know Garen, what's the other? I can't see. All right, anyway, uh, replace that, replace that, and replace this. We'll keep the peddler. Timo, clump of wumps. Yeah, good. We got the curve. We got the curve. Thresh. So it's a 3 6. You've seen six plus units die. So does that mean this has to be on the battlefield? Or just like whenever they, whenever units die? Reporting in. Unfortunately, we're not on the. We don't get to attack round one, which has been really powerful with um, Teemo. Okay, it has to be on the battlefield. Yeah, I made I made a couple of mistakes that last match. Oh, Battlesmith is good. Find today. To the field. I'm gonna play the thing that attacks for the most. You know, we could play the elusive thing. Alright, I got one puff cap. <laughs> yeah, basically this thing means it's tough, so it takes one less damage from all the sources. So, so it requires four damage to kill it. You know, if it takes two, it only takes one. If it's supposed to take two, it only takes one, and so on. Ah, oh, that card's good. Um. Ouch, that card's good. That's gonna kill my Teemo. Oh, if 
mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. More for my collection. Ooh, quite a collection. There they go. All right, so they got 17 puff caps. So this is a removal spell, but unfortunately it's slow. So that means we can't cast it during combat. You know, it's a sorcery. My heart and sword for democracy. Can you just say yes? But it does five damage to something. Hmm. So two, three. It'll only do two damage. Sithria, isn't it? Keep up the good work. They're about to attack with a lot of stuff. I'm in a lot of trouble, aren't I? how I've played this, which is why we're in this spot. Break their spirit and their soul. Alright, take one. So we're gonna just kill this thing. Try to get that out of here so they can't just keep on getting more elites. And then, um, then I'm gonna be just doing trying to do six damage to the the Garen. We arrived as soon as we could. Good to fight by your side. Yeah, I feel like I. I feel like I could have played this better. Yeah, so the Garen has regeneration. So if I would have chumped the Garen, then then the toughness would just go back. You know, like magic. But like chumping the 4 4 means that now it's just a 4 2, so that I can block it again with a 2 2 the next turn. And then I'm going to be able to kill it. Didn't Teemo? Okay, yeah, yeah, Teemo is. They have 19 puff caps. Um, 
three, four, five, six, seven. So I gotta block two, or I gotta block three things. Dang. We'll make it harder and harder to block three things. So now I have to block four things. So everything's gotta block. Yeah, Teemo is our last hope. I don't know what this is, but drain one. <sighs> well, now I don't really have a hope. Or I guess I don't have to block four things, because I can just let, I can chump this and take seven. Okay, so I can, so like does barrier work with this, with drain one? If I barrier this three one, does it stay alive? Does that work? Oh wait, 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 I can just block it first. Right. Never mind. Let's just block here. Let's block here. Let's block. Oh, I can't block that thing. Block here. I guess I can just do this and just. I can just do that. Oh, but I need to play spells. I need to play spells first. Darn it. I need to play this one spell. I would have got three extra puff caps. Which obviously can definitely matter. The extra three. More for my collection. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll definitely play faster the more the more I learn the game. But you know, like whenever I'm asking questions, you know, like I have like a question that I ask, and only one. Oh, I need I need you to take a whole lot more than one. And then, yeah, I asked the chat, but then, of course, like, delay with streaming and everything. And so then, yeah, the, the rope just kind of gets us. All right, so they have 20, or so they have 46 puff caps now. All right, I need, I need them to get, like, draw a card that has, like, six puff caps. Come on, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, not just one. Not just one. Yeah. Bleh. Those last two that I lost, I definitely feel like I could have played them better. So we got 1,250 total experience with the trial. Not bad, not bad. We got our next level up here. Let's get this reward. Golden chest. So extra copies, so you get 15 shards for a common. Not that much, but. Okay. We got an on guard and a redoubled valor. So a couple of rares. <clears throat> and then, oh, it also just had 261 shards in the chest, also. Cool. So yeah, you know, like that all adds up. 
you need 3,000 for one of these drafts. So, you know, it adds up. Adds up. All right, so there we go. There was, um, there was our first expedition. Uh, we'll do the second trial now. So, you know, we'll do a, a new video for the second trial. The Teemo, so kind of uh, think about the Teemo experiment, I think went pretty well. I think Teemo was pretty sweet. Um, I, yeah, I agree with somebody in chat that um, uh, <clears throat> I think that Demacio didn't really pair very well with Teemo. We didn't have like great choices to choose with Teemo at first. Um, but uh, yeah, Demacio wasn't the, the best pair. But uh, it worked, yeah, it worked pretty well. Um, all right, so we'll try trial two. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, you know what to do, hit that like button over there and uh, leave those comments. Appreciate both of those. But now we got to get seven wins. We only got five. So uh, come back, check out the next trial, see if we get to a seven. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.